free. Mr. Bergeron's on. Don't forget the popcorn, Frank. Coming, dear. You have a bathtub and you really, really don't want to remove it. What are some of the other ways that you can get into and out of your bathtub? They have a variety of bathtub transfer benches, some that actually seat slide, like this one. You can you put it over your toilet and then also into your tub. And then they have a certain lifts that you can get in and it'll lower you down and raise you up. There's many, many different types of products out there that will help you in your bathrooms. My favorite subject, a grab bar. I firmly believe there needs to be a grab bar in every bathroom because regardless of how old you are, you can definitely use it. My grandchildren use the one in my bathroom. They like to swing on it. They think it's a monkey bar, but that's another story. But grab bars are no longer industrial looking. They're made to look like stone. They come in a variety of shapes and sizes. And they can be used in many, many, many different parts of your bathroom. They have one near your toilet paper. They have one near your towels. And so all around your bathroom, without knowing it, you have grab bars that you can use. So what are some of the misconceptions? Oh, grab bars can go in anywhere. Sometimes they can. This grab bar went in very quickly using the correct mounting tools. It went in quickly. This grab bar was put up against a wall that was an elevator shaft. It can't go in the same way. So adaptations had to be made. The wall had to be taken down and repainted. This was a three-day grab bar as opposed to an hour to an hour and a half grab bar. All right. How do you get to your bedroom? That's a picture of a typical teenage bedroom, but I've seen a lot of clients who are older than teenage years that have had bedrooms that look like this. Kind of difficult to maneuver around. Again, what is the number one modification? A bedroom door widening it. And I was talking before about a barn door. Sometimes you can't widen a door as much as you would like. So one of the options that are out there is called a barn door. A track is put along the way, and the door slides open and closed. So there's no space configuration being used by a door swinging, and it gives you the maximum amount of space available. Pocket doors have to go in between a wall, and sometimes you don't have that kind of space, but a barn door works where a pocket door can't. Closets in a bedroom. One of the most important things is to be able to access your clothes. You want to get dressed. Pocket doors. This one happened to have mirrors on it so the woman could see what she looked like. And when you open up the pocket doors, different levels of accessibility of your clothing for you. Your kitchen. You want to be able to eat, right? You want to be able to use your kitchen in a way that is functional for you and everybody within your family. Again, we look at flooring in a kitchen. Slip-resistant tile, a matte finish. Sometimes kitchen floors are very glossy, especially wood ones. And the, the light, either from over above or from the sunlight, creates glare, which is very difficult to see, and it winds up causing a tripping hazard. So you want to put a matte finish on a floor when possible. Cork. Cork is a floor that's become quite popular now because it does offer some bounce when we do fall. So what are some of the other modifications that you can do? Cabinets and countertops. Nowadays, you try to design a kitchen so that varied heights are usable by varied ability people. <laughs> so you have some that are lower, some that are higher, and we change the heights depending on what's needed. These have adjustable cabinets. When I bought my house so many years ago, I was thrilled I had cabinets to the ceiling. I thought, great, I can put all this stuff in it. And when I was young, jumping up on my cabinets was never a thought. Lately, coming down off of my cabinets are. So what are the ones, some of the things that you can think about? These are adjustable. With the push of a button, these cabinets lower and raise. These cabinets, when you open the door, you can pull them down so it becomes friendly and you can reach all those spices that you've had for 30 years back behind in the corner of the cabinet. Same with these. These are all adjustable as well. These pull down too. There's a lot of different options that are out there to make your kitchen be user friendly. Appliances. They've come out now with appliances that can move up and down. 
your sinks, your countertops. You press a button, it lay lowers, and you press a button, and it hires depending on who's using it at the time. As I showed you about sinks, there's another option that you can do is you can have a sink that's lower and then put one side of the cabinet, either this can pull out and you have full accessibility underneath, or you leave one side open so that if somebody happens to be in a wheelchair, they can still help wash the dishes because they need to be, um, feel like they're useful as well. Ovens. I don't know about you, but when I cook a 22 pound turkey and I'm standing there at the oven and I'm trying to pull it out this way, I've dropped a few. Nowadays, they've come out with different types of ovens, lowering it so that it's easier to reach, putting a counter underneath so that when you do pop out that turkey, it has something to land on, or there's a new product out. It started in Europe. This is the European version, and this is the newer American version by Frigidaire. The door opens sideways. Isn't that an amazing thought? But an easy, so you're right up front. Who would have thought? Dishwashers. I don't know about you, lowering down to a dishwasher sometimes is difficult on my back. So there are new options out. We can raise your dishwasher so it's more level to where you are, or we can use dishwasher drawers. Same with refrigerators. I don't know if you remember the refrigerators with the freezers up here. Well, I've dropped many of a frozen turkey on my head trying to get it out of my refrigerator. Nowadays, they have refrigerators that have side-by-side -side as well as drawers. Easy to, access, easy to be accessible to anybody who's willing to use it. Now they also have refrigerator drawers. Great concept where you just want one drawer to put in the things that you use every day. Okay, what if a set of stairs comes between you and where you want to go? What are your options? We talked before about stair lifts. And nowadays, they make stair lifts for every member of the family. This was the client I had talked to you before about that had a four-level split. And we put it, a chairlift on every one of her floors because she did not want to move her washer and dryer up to the first or second floor. But she wanted to be able to access it, to reach it. So we took, did a chairlift every which way. And they also make them now for curved staircases, which for a while there was not a, an option. Elevators. Elevators have become much more available to the residents nowadays. Their prices are starting to come down and they're having a lot more options as to how to do it. The original hydraulic elevator requires a room somewhere to put in all the mechanics. But there's two others. This is vacuum and that is a traction elevator that have become available and have become more reasonably priced so that you can put it in. If you're building a new home when you're young, stack closets so that someday if you want to put an elevator in, you have a shaft already ready. That's called designing now for the future. Whole house safety. How many of you have seen that AT&T commercial where the kids come um, meet mom and dad and they say, did you leave the house safe? And he goes on his phone and he turns off all the lights and he turns off the TV and he turns off everything. Well, nowadays, you can do amazing things from this little gadget called your cell phone. You can have a whole house that is accessible to you. You can turn on and off things. You can have a motion detector, door controls. So if you're living at home with someone who might have Alzheimer's, the door will ring when somebody is not supposed to be going out. And it alerts who's ever also in the house. What are some of the other things you can do if you don't want to do your whole house, but you just want to do pieces of it? The kitchen is the one of the number one places that there has issues, and fire is one of them. They have suppression devices that you can put either under your microwave or under your stovetop, or your uh, range hood, rather, that will suppress a fire. They also make sensors that will sense when you've left your stove and automatically shut it down. Those are small little adaptations that you can make to increase your safety in the kitchen. There's a whole variety of other ones. There's motion detectors, outlet covers, personal emergency response systems that you can wear. And this gentleman came up with a great idea, and he was sharing it with me before. He said, when you go upstairs to, or you go into your bathroom to take a shower, bring your cell phone and put it in a baggie. 
because if you fall and you don't happen to have a personal emergency response system, hopefully you'll be able to make a call either to 911 or to your loved one. I thought that was a great idea and I wanted to share it with you. Yeah, a little, little cell phone cover that can be used in your shower. Some of the other devices that you have, there's medication reminders, there's telephones that you can do 911 or pictures of your friends that are just easy to use and easy when your emergency strikes and you're really not thinking clearly, it's easy just to press a button and call somebody. <coughs> and then my favorite, the raising chair. When I was young, my grandfather had ALS, and this was back in the early 70s, so there was not a lot of things available to assist in him, but they had made a chair. It wasn't quite like that. It was a seat that kind of catapulted you out. The grandkids had the best time with that chair because we were always being catapulted out of it. We thought it was great. But nowadays, they've made them a little bit more user-friendly. I will now turn this over to Stephen, who will share with you all these great ideas and how you can pay for them. Thanks very much. 